Boop, 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 boop. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Charles. Charles and there is where thank you guys for watching my channel. You could have clicked on any video, you clicked on mine. I appreciate it, man. Now I hope you don't click off before I get to say what I'm getting ready to say. So <laughs> anyway, um Gary Owen, man, got a little controversy, man. Uh at a recent uh comedy club. Um, so stuff went down. Um Comedian Gary Owen is getting the side eye from fans after getting real about the use of the N word, but his reasoning may be may have backfired. The comic recently wrapped a three-day series of shows at the Brockton's Brockton Comedy Club in Oklahoma. Y'all ever heard of that before? Brockton Comedy Club, where he was unexpectedly asked. To come clean about whether or not he has ever used a racial slur from an audience member. Dude, what the F just happened? First off, that question had nothing to do with my act. Said Owens. Oh, I keep saying Owens. His name is Owen. While on stage, instead of shying away from the topic, the think like a man actor admitted that he does. He does, in fact, say the N-word, but only under specific circumstances. What kind of circumstances you need to even say to, like, you don't, is that, what, what, what circumstances you have to say it? Um, I've never said it, like, with malice intent. Never said it as a put down. He first explained, but then stated, I listen to rap music. I like rap music. You, you don't think when I'm in the car by myself, I'm singing the F out of the song. They not like us, as the audience roared with laughter and hand claps. And I still look both ways before I say it. What, what they really want from a N word, I'm about to sing the F out of this song, Owen added, referencing Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us and DMX, what these bees want. Wow, that's crazy. Um, reactions from his fans on social media were mixed, including critics who say the Meet the Blacks actor was out of line. Two individuals joke, this is, this is who Michael Rappaport thinks he is. And he began starring in black films since a baby. And he loves his black woman, women. So it's safe to say he he be he be invited. That's what they put. He be that's a black person who wrote that. He be invited to all the barbecues. Still, a few people said that allowing expectations such as when reciting lyrics was a slippery slope that would not end well. Ye. Keep laughing and inviting them to the cookout. Sooner or later, they will be feeling comfortable to say it in your face. One person wrote in the comments. Two others said, I'm a huge Gary fan, but no, you're still a white man. Wow. Owen was married to his ex-wife, Kenya Duke, who is black for 18 years till they divorced in 2021. His, his comedic career is littered with jokes about the controversial word that is sometimes accepted as a term of endearment within the black community. In his Doing What I Do special, Owen said that he regularly heard Duke and their three children say the word, but that he never casually uttered it as they did. But the remark was among the minority, as countless others suggested the individual was being sensitive about Owen telling the truth. Appreciate the honesty, LOL. Wish more of them would stop the cap, LOL. Um, Owen shared the same video on his YouTube where more fans noted he auditioned for Django, of course, he says the N-word. During the viral Club Shay Shay interview, the 49-year-old explained that he had to say the word during his audition for Quentin Tarantino's 2012 movie 
where Jamie Foxx dropped over 100 N-word bombs. Jamie Foxx didn't say the N-word a lot. It was the people that was calling him that in the movie. It wouldn't, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure he said it, but not as much as Don Johnson and Leonardo DiCaprio and Samuel Jackson and um, all the other actors they had in the movie, you know, that was playing, you know, slave owners and stuff. Um, I never said the N-word so much in my life. And the casting director was a black lady. So that, that probably was Robbie Reed. Robbie Reed's a legend. So I go in and I'm looking at the size and it's inward, inward, inward. I'm like, God, you got to be kidding me. On later added, I apologize afterwards after my audition. In 2020, uh, throwback clip from his stand up routine, he joked that a woman called him the inward during sex. He said, I knew it. I knew if I could make her forget I was white, I knew I was doing something okay. <laughs> He's funny. You know, listen, you know, listen, black people, I might be letting the cat out the bag, but when you ain't around, we say that ish a lot on continue. Black people, you can take this and run with it. I don't know. I don't know you want to make some money off it. I think. I think instead of getting mad with white people saying it and wanting to fight, I think black people should make some money off of it. They already have. It's called hip hop. <laughs> Shit, they've been doing that. Shoot. Ever since NWA came out, they've been doing that. So they are making money off of it. Uh, unfortunately, everybody else like they can say it and it say it and make money off it too. That's the problem. He said that the slur should be patent. And, the, and white people be allowed to say it five times for twenty dollars. <laughs> Owen uh, acceptance within the black community has been a part of his comedic appeal throughout his career. He has been cast in black centered films such as Think Like a Man, TV shows. Um, even now, his affinity for melanated women still exists as he recently welcomed twin sons with his fiance. Um, Brianna Johnson. Yeah, he, he he stated that on Club Shay Shay and a bunch of other interviews. Like he loved, he said he don't he said he don't like no uh no women that look like him. He likes sisters. He, you know, him and Rob De Niro share that same because people don't realize this about Rob De Niro. Rob De Niro loved him some sisters for it. Robert De, well, a, a lot of Italian men do. Robert De Niro loved him some sisters, but they don't they re, they rarely talk about that because he's like the A-list up echelon king of film white man you know what i'm saying but yeah i think i think most of his kids are from if not all rob the newest kids are from black women but gary owens the same way like he you know only thing a white woman can do for him is show him to what it show him to where the bet award is going to be at which is going to be here this weekend <laughs> the bet award is going to be in that latest weekend um that was a good segue but that's the only thing a white woman can do for gary owens is pull him to the bet awards <laughs> I think he even said that too, like, you know, white woman can do nothing for me. Uh, but point me to the soul trainer or something like that, he said. I'm, you know. But uh yeah, that uh uh I don't know, man. I think that I think Gary's right. If you're gonna say it, say it by yourself. Don't say it around nobody. It's funny though. It 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 it, it, it feels like our pain and our degradation and our slurs it's like fun everybody can go to the concert and say it and you know our degradation is fun but i can't go around and say the k word you know what i mean when i say k word you know about the jewish community i can't go around and say uh the c word for asian people you know what i'm saying if i say that it, ooh, everybody offended but everybody can play with our racism they can play with our pain you know it's fun you know um, even though I, I do say it myself, but I'm really going to really work on not saying it because it's not it's not cool that our degradation and our pain, us being brutalized in this country, everybody can party to it and say it and party to it. But maybe a hundred years ago, that was the last word that a lot of brothers heard before they were, you know, what I'm saying from a tree. That was the last word they heard. So, and now we part into it. So that's what that's what I'm that's what I don't like, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, what do y'all think about it? Y'all think Gary could say it? Or anybody else could say it like it's it's a term of endearment, like Jay-Z says a term of endearment. 
What do y'all think, man? Leave your comment. Subscribe to Charles on Ed's World. Hit that thumbs up button, notification button. Check out the rest of my videos. I appreciate it, man. I'm gone. Looking for a professional photographer for your next big event? Need video of your special day? Then look no further. For $100 an hour have a professional photographer or videographer, shoot your wedding, birthday party, quinceanera bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah, anniversary party or whatever your special occasion may be. Highlight your event with professional, crisp, photos and video. Check out Charles Arnes Photography on Instagram as well as book us for your next event. Must live in the Southern California area.